sucker for this kind of thing as I love trains and I love photography, so seeing the tracks go into the trees was pretty incredible for me. The trail is really short, so this is only like a 15 to 20 minute stop. There are picnic benches here if you want to stay a little longer, but we continued on. Inside of the Blue Ridge Parkway is at the Rockfish Mile marker zero, we have officially completed our time on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Tonight we're going to do sunset before ending every day. Also, tomorrow we're going to make a video on Shenandoah, so I'll link that below, and there's a video on Christmas Falls as well. Like any great road trip, it's always a bummer to just begin, but we want to go out with the fans, so we headed back into the park for sunset. I was told at the visitor center that Humpback Rocks is one of the best places to watch the sunset in all of Blue Ridge Parkway. We got there about an hour and a half before the sunset, so the trail is short, but it's really steep. Plus, we wanted to get up there and just relax and watch the sun go down. And I are back on Blue Ridge Parkway doing one more hike, which is a little bit tough. Watch the sunset. The trail begins by going through a shaded area, and it was beautiful to see the sun coming in and out of the trees as we walked on. This trail is only three quarters of a mile, but I did it with Toby's the whole way, 750 feet, three quarters of a mile. It's tough and steep. Everyone, be sure to give props, props in the comments. We did almost 50 miles. Oh my god, it's so cool. Look at Pops hiking with all these fireflies around him. I've seen fireflies like once in my life. I am freaking stoked right now. I had to walk back up the stairs so Pops could film me hiking with the fireflies. It's just flashing everywhere around us as he's coming down here. Wow. That's the way to end Blue Ridge Parkway video right there. It was hilarious because I thought I was coming down with some locals and they thought it was funny that I cared about the fireflies. Coming from Southern California though, you never see anything like this when you're hiking. Of course, this video will never do justice. Alright, after seeing the fireflies and getting down the hill, that is officially the end of the video. See you on the next one. Leaving the Heritage Center, we made our way back into Anchorage and stopped at the Anchorage Museum. 
This museum is a well-known stop in the heart of Anchorage, and according to its website, it's dedicated to studying and exploring the land, peoples, art, and history of Alaska. One of the best exhibits in the museum was an area dedicated to each of the different people groups and some of the artifacts from those groups. There was a lot of stuff to see in this area, and it was laid out beautifully. There was also a pretty big and interactive kids area, which would make it fun for families as well. From the museum, we made our way over to the Kodluk, which you could walk to, and which is famous for its tea and its donuts. Inside the store, you'll find all sorts of Alaskan gifts that you can buy, as well as a samovar tea, which the store is known for. I took a bag of the tea home with me. In the back of the store, you'll find a donut shop, which makes multiple types of old-fashioned donuts, and some have even called this the best donuts in the state of Alaska. Alright, so we found this place that's supposed to be the best donuts in America, and that's a fireweed donut. Fireweed, samovar, and around downtown a little bit more we found this alaska sign which was pretty cool and then we decided to head over to dinner at moose's tooth pub and pizzeria moose's tooth is always busy as it's a favorite spot for residents and visitors to roma tomatoes and prosciutto my dad and i both loved what we got and it's a fun spot in the city they have good beer here as well another hit in anchorage that was a great spot for food earthquake park and the airport area which is where